brand new week, brand new vibes. And as you already know, I'm in Uganda, Kampala, right here at Speak Apartments. The guy I'm about to introduce is somebody I truly adore because he's super hardworking. When it comes to Ugandan artists, his name has always been top of the top. And when it comes to hip-hop, he's still ruling from back in the day. I'm talking about none other than my dear friend and somebody who I work with as his publicist, Navio. What's up, Nav? Good. Nice to see you. So, guys, this is a real exclusive. When I say VAP access to the Nico, I mean it because yes. Navio literally stepped down from, um, I think it's Sweden, only yes. today. Yes, yeah, a couple hours ago. I heard you in town. I'm like, I need to make it. So, I got on an earlier flight. Asante, yes. son. Just, just for me, just for me. And congratulations on your nuptial. Thank you, thank you. It's uh, It, it gets lighter every day. <laughs> the ring. Yeah. So, so what, I'm curious, what's happening to the female fans? Are they still sending the DMs? And <laughs> oh, oh that, those, are always, those are always there. I think, I think in a way, they just changed. But it's the same amount of DMs, you know. Um, but for thing, the balance of families, it adds another dimension of, of seriousness too. You know, when you wake up on those five, four or five a.m.s with the baby, you, you're kind of prepared for anything in the industry, you know. And that's what Uganda <laughs> is, you know. Your manager will be like, 3 a.m., the Kawaka's waiting for you at the stadium to perform, you know what I mean? And, and Bule will come and get me out of bed, like, look, look, look to get in um, So, yeah, man, you kind of, you're, you're ready for anything. I think that's what family, that's what family gives you. Cool. You know, if you're sensing some freshness, I, I guess it's a perspective thing as well. You know, I've kind of, had that time away in a different environment to really be objective about the industry you know in a, in a way that i haven't been before you know the, the the most i was ever out of town is four weeks you know but to go like out for like this amount of time um it was it was definitely let me get a different perspective you know of my music so i think it strengthened my album uh you know the album that i'm coming up with now and strengthened the songs on there to be out there and kind of get that insight and swedes are really serious about sound you know um that's what they're known for so it was pretty dope being out there for that um but at the same point in time i think it was a realization you know um that you can't really control too much you know um being out there also with my kids um, and really enjoying that. I, I, I found out how much I had missed, you know, with my first two as they were growing up because I was always doing shows and stuff. Um, so I'm so glad I got to take that block of six months and say, that's it. Yes, I'm going to knock out 30 shows, but they're going to be spaced out in a way where I can really spend, you know, time with family. And, and then, of course, touring with Michael Franti. He's one of those artists who's like a household name almost in the States and in music you know there's no one you talk to in the music industry who doesn't know who he is because he sells out like he's a main super mainstream artist you know and so learning from him as well you know that was important i think especially the where i'm at where i'm like do i go for more fame do i go for more credibility do i go for more cash in the industry what am i what's my actual goal so it was really dope being around him for you know touring touring on the buses and the planes and um, and seeing, seeing, getting that insight too. Okay. Cool. I mean, I like the last thing you said. Like, do I go for the money? Do I go for the experience? Do I do this? It's funny that you would think that because even when I was starting out in the industry, you know, Navio was at the top. Even now, Navio is still at the top. There are a lot of Ugandan artists who are doing well in Uganda, but they still haven't managed to have fans across like you do and keep people captivated like you do. I think it's um, sometimes about taking the hit, you know. Um, I, c I could keep it very simple and release music that's just commercial, you know, or just hip-hop or just one thing, you know. But me, creatively, that's not me. But, of course, the hip-hop industry takes it so, oh, kapuka, you know. In, in, in I, mm. So I think staying versatile was very important for me, um, but also making sure that, in the hip hop, my skills were unquestioned. So that is, I think, a really big difference, you know, with anyone that's been in the hip hop industry is like, can you get to the right people? Sometimes even take the hit, release a song that you know is gonna get 2,000 views, but it's gonna be, you're gonna show it to the people who really make your brand credible. 
Um, so that kind of balancing act, I think, is you know would drive a lot of people crazy. I was thinking about it the other day, and I was writing a rhyme, you know, that's on a new album, and I was like, you know, I've been on the charts with Kalamashaka. I've been on the charts through Nonini, Juakali, you know, done shows with so and so and so and so at Madaraka, or see, all the way until, you know, your 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 calligraphs. Like I've yeah. been on the charts through all those artists, you know, talking about like a Kenyan perspective. That's the pressure I think I've put myself under is like staying so relevant that people will outright be like oh yeah but this guy is killing you and I'm like this some guy just came in two three years ago I've been doing this 15 years or, or plus you know what I mean yeah. and I'm like um, and I kind of enjoy it because I see what the benchmark is you know what I mean when people are like oh can you compete with this guy you know for me that's kind of interesting I'm like oh okay. okay but you know these other people you mentioned aren't even performing as much as you are and most of them are not even producing any albums really yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's and that's the thing, you know. Um, that's the pressure I think I've put myself under is like staying so relevant that people will outright be like, "Oh yeah, but this guy is killing you." And I'm like, "This some guy just came in two, three years ago. I've been doing this <laughs> 15 years or, or plus." You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, um, and I kind of enjoy it because I see what the benchmark is, you know. What, I mean? what do I ask you next? Because I just feel like you're acing all these answers that <laughs> I should be done. <laughs> we can go family life. We can go we can go anywhere you want, Anika. Okay, anywhere I want. I want to go to the albums. The last album, The Chosen One, was super dope. I love the album. It was super dope. And now we're waiting for Strength in Numbers um, scene are some of the collaborators we should expect and maybe when is the album actually dropping yeah um so shay shay is on there we've got lay lizzie from mozambique um jamari from morgan heritage it's got geo steady uh d1 of course from sweden the myth flex the paper standard um and there's a few other surprises on there i'm not gonna unleash but of course yeah ice prince and venice md um so yeah it's sounding pretty pretty complete right now Aish. Solid, solid little package. You know. Aish. Before even we finish this interview, I just want to say congratulations, man. You know, because I've been in the industry, but I work with artists. I'm not the artist, and I know how much work it takes. Um, I mean, how much time it even takes to be in the studio to make one track, let alone an album. And, you know, to do that, to, uh, you know, still manage to have a balance of family life is something so commendable. And congratulations. I'm like, super proud of you. No, thank you. I mean, um, yeah, the, the balance with the family life is so important, you know. It's, it's dope to see, you know, your journey. I mean, what else from Navio? Yeah, I mean, um, setting up the studio, um, I think, was a big one for me because, of course, I had one earlier in my career and we had taken on five or six artists, you know, but of setting up Icon Studios was now, has now become a reality. So it's now there, it's now, you know, open to the public and it's something that um, I think is going to produce a lot of the new talent um, and not the bubblegum talent. What, what do you think um, led you to where you are today? Like, is it just you're born like this <laughs> lady gaga style yeah I, I think i think born like this is pretty pretty accurate um in anything that i've done i try to i try to excel with it um but yeah the 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 talent i think is something talent i think is something that's in you man it's either in you or it's not in you yeah that's a that's a it's a it's a good question as well. <laughs> <laughs> My driving force, yeah, family is definitely a big one, you know. Um, wanting to be cool for my big brother because he was so into hip-hop dudes. You know, my sister was into the dance culture, which also run, came back to hip-hop. My mom is so, you know, a music lover as well. Um, so, and, and the support that they gave me in, in, an, in amidst all of that education about music, you know. Um, that is one of the biggest driving forces, getting up for them. Um, and then, of course, there's just the fact that we're underdogs, you know. As Africans, and especially as Ugandans, you know, we're those underdogs. Um, what can we do and what can we add to the industry and how can we push to really be seen and, you know, on the same level as, as everywhere else in Africa right now? I'm one step at a time. Yeah. One album at a time. <laughs> One rhyme at a time. <laughs> One bar at a time. True. 
Yeah. Anything you want to tell your fans watching? Always been supporting from day one. Uh -huh, no, thank you guys so much. The new album is definitely on the way. Um, the East Lord is officially back in the East. So uh, get ready to see a lot of collaborations and movement. Um, yeah, man, I think it's time to spice up the hip hop industry, man. Um, we can't just leave one or two people doing it by themselves. You know, we all have to get in and, and, and make it interesting for people. So let's do that. Um, it's your boy Nav. Strength in Numbers is coming. Hope you like Shake Your Body and Check. Uh, we've got some heat coming for you next up with King Saha and cool you had it from the East Lord himself I'm signing out representing Navcop Icon Team Navio we are representing throughout the world forever thank you Navio next week catch another celebrity on my YouTube channel make sure you subscribe it is VIP access with Aniko now Navio is gonna go back home to the family <laughs> true <laughs> correct Thank you Good so day. much. Oh my